My name is Aaron Hathaway. I'm, I'm one of three tech services managers here with the TNO team. Um, just one piece of the puzzle in the, the New Farm TNO team, so it's good to be with you. Today we're going to be talking about two products of ours that are simply better together. Uh, and we're going to be talking about POA control, which is always a hot topic, especially here in California. And specifically, we're talking about a, a PGR and a new EZ and a herbicide and velocity PM. Almost everybody knows what POA is or annual bluegrass, whatever you call it, but it's always a challenging weed and there's some very specific reasons for that. The very first one is you see in the middle picture how many seeds that are produced by this plant. These seeds are produced at a putting green height, so at an eighth of an inch and lower. POA is always producing tons of seed all the time. The other thing is that there's so much biodiversity within this plant. And you see on the left side of this picture, you see some perennial biotypes of annual bluegrass. It actually looks like a really nice species. You see some annual biotypes among a little bit of bent grass in here. And those, those different biotypes make it very difficult to control. Those annual biotypes aren't going to produce as uh, strong of root systems and might be a little bit easier to control with post-emergence herbicides while the perennial biotypes are much stronger plants often which which means you might make some applications and control some biotypes really well and other biotypes not quite as well and this kind of leads us to some of the control options that we have in turf if you look at this list in the post and pre and PGR options, there's plenty of options out there. And this certainly isn't an exhaustive list in each of these areas in cool season and warm season grasses. But we have a ton of options for poet control. Why is it still such a difficult weed to control? Why do we still have issues controlling this weed? Well, we talked about why that is. And so even though we have a lot of options, it's still very difficult to control. And what we found in research is that if you can look at more than one category of weed control, so pre-emergence and post-emergence and plant growth regulation, you're gonna have much more success than if you just focus on one or the other. And so we're gonna talk about that today. Specifically, we're gonna talk about using post-emergence herbicides and plant growth regulators at the same time. And of course, I'm lucky at, at New Farm, we have uh, two really good options for POA suppression or POA control. Um, Velocity PM is a post-emergence herbicide that can, can be used in cool season turf. A new EZ is a really cool plant growth regulator that we've had for a little while now, but we're finding more and more uses for it, and one of those is POA suppression. And what we found also is that when you mix these two products together and use them in a program approach, it can be a really awesome way to get better control of POA in your cool season grasses specifically. And we're gonna start by looking at some research that looks at PGRs, plant growth regulators. And there's a lot of words on this slide. I'm not gonna to, to speak every word, but really this is just a trial that went on for a long time. So it was a five year trial. And um, we looked at a bunch of different plant growth regulator treatments. We were simply spraying plant growth regulators every two weeks during the growing season for five years. So this was done in Michigan. So you had a, win a winter in there where you were making no applications. But during the growing season, every two weeks, these treatments went out. And we found that some PGRs don't do a very good job regulating the growth of POA, and you see POA actually increase in population. Some PGRs do a much better job suppressing POA over, uh, over time than others. And you'll see some of that in this data. Uh, I like graphs like this. this is, these are called box and whisker plots. And the reason I like them is you can take four years of data so over, over four years of making these treatments every two weeks, of spraying these treatments every two weeks, I would go and I would evaluate how much POA or the POA population in each treatment. And I did that on a percentage basis. So you see on the y-axis, this is percent POA cover. So higher up meant there was more POA, lower meant there was less POA. And then you see the treatments along the x-axis with, um, with the rates as well. So this is four years of data. So in each of these boxes and the whiskers are 18 evaluations over those four years of the POA percent POA cover. If you look at the untreated box and whiskers, you see how much variability there is in POA. I, this is one of the coolest aspects of it, at least to me, is that when you're doing nothing, POA populations go up just, 
they go up and down naturally. In the heat of the summer, you'll see it fade away. In the shoulders of the seasons, you'll see it expand and Poa would just go crazy. And so even when you're doing nothing, Poa is a very variable plant. It's gonna expand and decrease in population over time. Right next to it, you see um, Trinex Peck Ethyl or Primo being applied every two weeks. And you see that, that those Poa populations stay pretty high. And then you look at the rest of these treatments and you see the rest of these PGRs do a pretty good job of suppressing that POA growth. These are all, well, not all of them. Some of these treatments have some post-emergence uh, products in them. But a new EZ right here, 18 fluid ounces per acre applied every two weeks. It kept POA populations right around an average of 20% where you had the untreated an average of 35 to 40 to, to 45% over these four years. So just using a PGR like you would normally do to get plant growth regulation of maybe a bent grass fairway, just using that on that bent grass, you can get POA suppression of this, you can suppress this weed more than if you were maybe using a different PGR. You'll see other treatments in here, a new plus trim it, does a really good job of course of suppressing POA as well. So um, maybe not rocket science here, but we know that certain PGRs are really gonna suppress POA over time. And so you can choose your PGRs really well if, if you really want to suppress POA. The other piece of this trial that we were looking at, and this was a bent grass fairway. So bent grass fairway infiltrated with POA. I wanted these treatments to at least to have some high, high quality turf. I didn't want to suppress POA growth and bent grass growth so much that the quality of the turf was, um, was not high. And so now we're looking at turf quality. It's on a scale from one to nine. Higher again is better quality, lower is worse quality, same box and whisker plots. This is actually 27 total evalu evaluations over four years, so lots of numbers in these boxes and whiskers. And you'll see in the untreated plots, where you have more POA, you usually have more modeling, right? You see that, that yellow colored turf grass against the dark colored turf grass. And so you see the more modeling, you'll see more seed heads and therefore quality goes down. So this is the untreated quality. Primo right next to it. Here's a new EZ. You're able to increase quality while you're suppressing that POA. So it's not like you're just killing it all at once, but you're suppressing it over time. You're pushing the competitive edge toward the creeping bent grass to take over that space over time. And so you can suppress POA and maintain high quality fairways at the same time. Pictures, pictures show a lot, obviously. So this is a photo. Um, spring of 2022. I actually applied these applications, these PGR applications, pretty late into the season, the fall before. But you can see the following spring when there's a lot of seed heads, some of the huge differences in the pole populations in these plots, differences in quality as well. We've seen this in warm season turf, overseeded warm season turf, where annual bluegrass will become a part of that stand. Um, PGRs like a new EZ can be applied and sometimes it can suppress POA so much that you can even cause it to check out, especially in high heat in southern areas. So we looked at plant growth regulators. We're going to kind of move to post-emergence herbicides. We have a kind of newer post-emergence herbicide in Velocity PM. I say kind of newer because it it was here until about 2018 and it went away and we had a chance to kind of retool with this particular herbicide. We changed our recommendations, we changed the pricing tr structure and uh, we re-released it. So we're excited to bring another product as a tool for POA management and that's what the PM stands for, POA management. It's an ALS inhibitor that happens to have really good safety in a lot of cool season grasses. So we're gonna look at this herbicide, I, I had a chance way back in the early 2000s when I was at Michigan State to look at this herbicide. This was an annual bluegrass fairway. This was one way that we would test whether something was gonna effectively control POA. You can see when you spray velocity three times in one season, you pretty effectively control POA. But another thing that we did is it's one thing to control POA, it's another thing to selectively control it. Can you take it out of a bent grass fairway without taking out the bent grass at the same time? So we did things like we plugged in cup cutters of bent grass at the tops of each of these plots and you can see those bent grass plugs remaining when we made these applications. And here's the cool part. Over the next two years, so this was year one, 
over the next two years, we continued three applications per year. And what we saw was that bent grass slowly moved across that plot and took, away, took up all that empty space. There were probably a few surviving plants down here, but most of that bent grass came from those plugs at the top of the plot and took over that plot. So we saw that it's really effective at um, controlling POA and it's safe on bent grass. Those were the two main things we were looking for and thus Velocity was born. So unlike a lot of other ALS inhibitors, has good safety on ryegrass, creeping bent grass, fescues, marginal safety on Kentucky bluegrass. There's even pr some pretty good safety in these warm season grasses as well. One of the difficulties with controlling POA, especially in, uh, in the north where you have a lot of POA growth, in the Pacific Northwest where you've got a lot of POA growth where it really thrives for a long time, is there's simply a lot of it. So if you're gonna kill POA very quickly, you're gonna end up with a lot of bare ground, which nobody likes. Everybody likes to keep a job, right? So um, you don't necessarily want bare ground. And so we've begun to change our recommendations with Velocity to almost use it like a plant growth regulator to slowly take out that POA over time so the bent grass can take its, take its place in the meantime. So all this showing that you can do a lot of things with Velocity. You can apply really high rates, take out POA very quickly, or you can use it in a very metered approach to take out POA slowly, even over a few years, even when you have a lot of POA in a fairway. So our recommendation has changed. Again, it's been around for a long time, but as, with this new release, we've changed our recommendations for that slower approach. And so this is our very common um, program right here. It's 0.75 fluid ounces per acre applied five times at 14 day intervals. And you might do that in year one and take out much of your POA, depending on how much you started with, and come back in year two and take out the rest of the POA. And after that, you can kind of go into this maintenance mode of applying higher rates, fewer times, and kind of very quickly taking out the rest of the POA. And the goals really are taking out POA in this safer approach, this slower approach, so that you're not seeing any bare ground. And this is where we're gonna end, kind of looking at this trial, which uh, I really liked. This was at Michigan State University just last year. And really what we're looking at here is the combination of a PGR in a new EZ that suppresses POA really well. It's also gonna really increase the health of the bent grass at the same time as PGRs do with Velocity PM, which is that post-emergence piece. So we have a PGR, like I mentioned in the beginning, plus a post-emergence and one program to effectively take out POA. And you're looking at a lot of different treatments here. And just to highlight what these treatments are, we have treatments two through five that began on May 1st. And then we're looking at treatments six and seven that began on June 28th. So different starting dates there. There's a couple different rates. And then we have velocity with and without a new EZ. And then we compared it to a, to a comparison treatment down at the bottom. This program right here, this is my recommended program that I mentioned to you earlier. Velocity PM at 0.75 fluid ounces per acre applied five times, 14 days apart. Here's that recommended program with a new EZ. As we go through this, here's the untreated plot. POA pretty much being maintained around 35% cover in this bent grass fairway. Here's that starting date of May 1st. So a typical program starting on May 1st getting this slow decline in POA, not controlling it all at once. This is in Michigan where you got a lot of those perennial types of POA, so it's a very strong deep-rooted POA, at least relatively deep-rooted, that survives really well. So in some areas, you might control POA much more quickly than you're seeing here, but you're seeing a nice steady decline in POA, and it maintains that decline in POA all the way through the fall. And the idea is here that you're weakening it into the winter, it has to go through the winter, and we're gonna pick it right back up the following year to slowly take out the rest of it. Here's that same program with a new. This is that beginning date of May 1st. Here's a little bit higher rate, a little bit higher rate with a new as well. A little bit better POA control when you, when you add that PGR into the mix. And here's the starting date of June 28th. When you have a little more heat, you, you start later in the season, you get usually better efficacy because POA doesn't like the heat. Bent grass really does like the heat. It's more like a warm season grass. So starting here in June 28th, around 38% and going down to around 23% POA. And then you add a new EZ to that post-emergence herbicide and you even get much better POA control 
close to down at 10% down there at the bottom. So we had really good success with these programs, especially with Velocity plus a new EZ. So a post-emergence and a PGR doing the job together, providing really good slow control. We never saw any bare ground here, but controlling POA slowly and getting it down to a manageable, manageable amount at 10% to come back and kind of finish the job the following year. And of course, the other piece is quality. Where did we come on a quality standpoint? You want to keep your golf course open, you want to keep playing and control POA but maintain high quality. This was the untreated. Here's that first, starting on May 1st, that typical program, 0.75 fluid ounces per acre applied five times, still maintaining really high quality throughout the season. There's with a new EZ. Here's a higher rate. These are where those May 1st treatments stopped. So you can see those, uh, that quality in these treatments went up even more. And there's with a new EZ. Here are the treatments that began on June 28th. So we had more efficacy. So we did see a little bit dip, a little bit of a dip in quality. And then you add a new EZ. And I'm gonna show you some pictures that I think are really cool. And the pictures are gonna show the, some of these plots late in the fall after these treatments were done. What we saw in the trial was pretty simple. The addition of a new EZ increased power control, and the other huge part of this was the addition of a new EZ to Velocity PM not only increased the power control, but it really increased the quality of these plots, especially after those programs were finished. And I'm gonna show you some of that. Everybody's always interested in what these fairways look like during this program, which is why I like these photos. This is the June 28th program with Velocity Plus a new EZ with the red arrow. This is about as bad as it gets, if you can see from where you are. And obviously you're killing some POA, so dying POA is not gonna look great, so it's just gonna be a part of it. Here's without the Anu, you see you get more, a little bit better efficacy with the Anu. These are those programs that began on May 1st. So this photo was July 18th, those programs are all finished, and these are what those plots look like. Fully recovered, they look fine. They actually didn't really dip, as you saw in the data, that much in quality to begin with. And then we're, I'm highlighting in the boxes Velocity PM plus a new EZ, so the PGR and the post-emergence herbicide, showing that quality still really good. This is four days after the fifth application, so four days after the final application. This arrow is showing that same treatment without the new EZ. So you're seeing the new EZ add some color, add some um, high quality, at least visually high quality turf while you're making this application. And then from this point on, this is September 12th, these, picture, these plots actually just jump right out at you. And so the dark green plots are Velocity plus a new EZ. We've taken out a lot of the POA, which is yellower, of course. So you're seeing more green bent grass, but you're also just seeing much healthier, darker green color turf at the same time. So much so that you can see the plots without me having to highlight them at all. But there they are. Here's September 20th. These were cool drone photos that, uh, that were taken for us. Same thing, these plots just continue to jump out at you. So not only did you cut your POA back by about 60%, but you've just, in the same season, increased the quality of these fairways. They look even better than if you had done nothing at all. September 20th, and then a full month after the very final application, a new has just continued to just increase the health and the quality of these plots as bent grass continues to take over that space. So that was it. Um, thank you for paying attention. I'll, those of you who are watching, if you have any questions about any of this, um, this is kind of just the summary slide, but a new EZ can do the same thing in, in putting greens. That PGR effect can be very slow and effective at slowly taking out POA, slowly suppressing POA over time. So at the very least, you don't continue to see an increase in those populations. But in fairways, we've seen that it's an awesome, better together approach when you're mixing a post-emergence herbicide and velocity with a PGR and a new EZ for POA suppression. So again, feel free if you have any questions. Uh, the new farm folks are around, we'd love to answer questions. You can also email me um, at aaron.hathaway at newfarm.com if you ever have any questions about either of these products or both of them. Thank you.